All right, so Martinsville was yesterday. Um, I didn't get to see it because I was uh, house hunting, as I said before. Um, but I did see the last couple of laps, and I've been watching a bunch of stuff on it, you know, this week, trying to get all caught up. Um, Jimmy wins. So good for you, Jimmy fans out there. I'm sure you're very excited about that. Uh, Jimmy's an amazing race car driver, and you can't take that away from him. I'm not a big fan, but that's okay. Nobody asked me to be. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm not a big fan of Hendrick Motorsports in general. Um, I like Mark, and I don't, on most days, I don't have a problem with Junior. Really, it's just the other two. And I don't know why. Don't ask me why I don't like them. I just don't. They just rub me the wrong way. Um. Anyway, and so, and Jimmy has that really nasty beard that still bugs me. It's not manly, Jimmy. Tony can pull it off. Dale Jr. can pull it off. You can't. You just, you can't. Anyway. That has nothing to do with his racing, does it? Um. <laughs> Anyway, he bumps Denny out of the way to get the win yesterday, so good for him. That was awesome. Um, Denny, I really loved Denny's quote um, in his pre-race stuff where he said that, you know, if it was him in that, that same position as, Je as Denny, he would have done the same thing, and that next time he will. Uh, that's awesome. I hope he does. I can't wait to see that. Um, I'll be first in line to congratulate him on that. Um... All right, that's all I'm going to say about all that kind of stuff because I don't want to lose you, Hendrick people. I love you guys, and, and I, you know, that's awesome. Keep watching. I promise I won't badmouth you guys all the time. Um, Moving on, I want to talk about a few guys that I was really excited to see do well yesterday. Uh, number one, how about Tony Stewart? Loved seeing him get that third place finish. Um. I wish it would have been a win. I can't wait for him to get that first win. It's going to be amazing. Um, he's, you know, I see really big things for Tony, and not only as a driver but as an owner. Like, I think that he's going to have a really great future. And, yeah, so go, Tony. Super excited about that. Um, other guys that did well, Junior Nation should be kind of excited because he got a top ten. Um it's been kind of an iffy year again, and people are, you know, wanting him to, to step up and do these things and whatever. You've, I know you've all heard the controversy going on with him and, and even Tony Urie Jr. People are pulling him into it. Uh, I honestly, you know, I don't. Okay, all right. Here's my opinion on this whole thing. I think that when you have a driver and a crew chief that quick that's something that's very hard to come by and you just really you don't want to mess with that you know I mean Jimmy wouldn't be anything without Chad setting up on that box they're a team and I mean Jimmy's a great driver but he needs Chad up there to tell him what's going on um same thing with Jeff Gordon in his heyday you know he wouldn't have been what he was without Ray Everham up there telling him what was up so I just feel like a lot of times things get blamed on the crew chief that, especially in this junior Tony Yuri situation, I think Tony's taken a lot of the heat for things that junior himself will admit that he does, you know? <sighs> yeah. So that's what I've got to say about that. I know it's kind of a couple weeks late on that whole debate, but I don't know. I mean, what, what were you guys thinking about it? What do you think about it? Um, do you think it's a good choice that he sticks around? I don't know. I don't really think that there's a choice. Like, obviously, he needs to stay. Um, some people don't agree. But anyway, other than that, <laughs> I don't really even know why I went there. But uh, good for Junior, getting that top ten. I guess that I'm some pat on the back to you, Junior fans. That was awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of guys out there doing, stepping up and doing really well um, this year. And I'm excited about that. I'm hoping maybe there'll be a little bit of a shake up in the top, you know, 12 come chase time. I would love to see that. 
but uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, um, some last minute things I wanted to talk about. Uh, thank you guys for all your well wishes about um, getting the house this weekend. When we looked at the house this weekend, um, we did sign on the house. We move in on May 1st, and we're very, very excited about that. Uh, huge step for all of us, so um, it's going to be amazing. So look forward to videos from there. It should be a fun new atmosphere. So um, other things, obviously this weekend is Texas, which means I'm going to be in Texas. Uh, <laughs> and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I thought maybe I'd give you guys a little bit of kind of a background on my friend that I'm going to be traveling with, because you're probably going to see a lot of her in the videos. Um, her name is Tracy, and she and I have been friends for about five years now, maybe a little bit longer, and, um, she's a big Martin Truex Jr. fan. She likes him because of his sponsor, actually. She's a huge fan of fishing. She does a lot of it, and she's really good at it, too. Um, but obviously his sponsor is Bass Pro Shop, so that's how she picked her favorite driver. Um, and yeah, she did that a couple years ago, and so she's kind of new to this whole NASCAR thing, but she's, you know, she's coming right along. She's, she's good. Sometimes she calls me and even tells me things that I didn't think about, so... Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna see videos with a lot of us, like, randomly cracking up laughing about silly things. Um, but it's gonna be good, so be excited about that. We like to do videos, like, as we travel and stuff so that we remember things that happened and funny stories, so there'll definitely be a lot of those. Um, and then there'll, of course, be ones from the track, and, uh, maybe even, you know, what we think about what's gonna happen and all that kind of stuff. So be prepared for all of that. I hope you guys think it's funny and like it. Watch it and rate, comment, and all of that fun, fun stuff because we both will, you know, be anticipating what you guys think. So we're excited. We can't wait. We take out early, early on Saturday. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you guys have an awesome week and that you're looking forward to the videos. They should be really good. So we will see you in Texas. Bye, guys.